Good morning to the last day before we get new solar installed. Yeah, it is a bit of a sad and emotional day actually. So this will be the final hours of this solar system working on this roof here. It is already 9.30 in the morning and if you follow my German YouTube channel Living Down Under you know exactly what day it is because this morning we had bacon and eggs. I've got one full day left to get everything prepared for tomorrow morning. Let's get started. And look how the weather has changed. No clouds anymore, no rain, just pure sunshine. And we are taking down the solar. It's 9.45 in the morning and we're making 2.7 kilowatts already. It'll be hot up here, it'll be hot. Okay, so I let these panels here produce for a while and we're taking, uh, taking down these ones first. These were the last ones to install because I haven't fixed the cables underneath anyway, so it should be fairly easy to take these ones down again. <sighs> Sad. So Westroof is making 1.04 kilowatt. If we turn off these two strings, Last one. We're making only 970 watts now. So there's a bit of loss already. Don't want to bother you to death with time lapses today. So this is the first bucket full of brackets from our west roof. I've removed um, completely two strings already. And we now have to turn off the other strings, one after another. I still want the power as long as possible. Many hours later. Yeah, the west roof has zero watts. 0, 0.0 watts. All the other solar charge controllers are in yellow absorption, but this one is blue flashing, not doing anything. And this is not the fault we have seen before with these controllers. So, as you can see here, all string fuses have been removed. And we can now turn off the solar isolator because there's nothing connected anymore. And here's our west roof. Piled up all the panels here. And in this corner, I've got all the rails here. And now I'm continuing with the east roof. Three strings left. And it is so hot here on the roof. When you stand here on the metal, you can feel the heat coming in through your shoes, through the sole of your shoes. It's unbelievable. You cannot stand on this roof here for too long. It is that hot. I don't know who came up with this stupid idea to put metal roofs on buildings here in Australia. Total nuts. But even this reflective silver here is getting so hot. You cannot knee, you cannot touch it with your hand. All the tools are super hot. <laughs> Total crazy. You can only cover your roof with solar. That's the only possible solution for that. Okay, east roof. Here yeah, and temperatures today 37 outside the garage and 31 inside. Uh, can you not remember why I always say welcome to a sunny hot Australia? <sighs> it is hot today. But tomorrow, when the electrician comes, it will be even hotter. So they have to hurry up and I have to have plenty of cold spat here. Well, actually they won't get spat. <laughs> well, I guess they have to drink water. No spat for them while they are here. Okay, so we are trying to lower some of the uh, solar panels now here at the back because there's some um, shadow shading. And I've got the two rails set up again. We lower them with the rope and the hooks again. And my wife is taking them because 
because fucking Andy too is not turning up here. He's so unreliable. Ring him several times, left messages, everything, nothing. Okay, this took like six or seven minutes now to get these six panels down there. It is hot. It is hot today. Two more rows. Hey, have a look at this. Can you see that? That is a hot spot, a burn mark on one of the Canadian solar panels. See, these are the ones which are cracked. You can see the cracks there, everywhere. And this is the main reason for the solar upgrade. And I can't get these sort of panels anymore. But this one is a serious burn mark, a hot spot, which could cause a fire. Glad we are not using these panels anymore. So oh, that's a bit of a historic moment here. It was the first panel to go on the roof and it's now the last to get out. So far we had only one panel with a hotspot, but one is enough, not good. Be some cable tie or something here. Ah. ah, the good old Canadian solar. That's how it all started. With some um, seven of these panels, I had them. I had them before I started the off-grid garage. But I think, yeah, somehow this is a series here. They have salt, which is not good. The quality is just shit. Okay, so let me remove these rails here and then um, there's more to do. And it's already like three o'clock or so, I don't know. That's where the sun is. So this is what we have built in pretty much one and a half years or so has gone off the roof in six hours so tired i'm not sure if i can edit this video until tomorrow we will see short break oh i have now disconnected all our incoming solar from the roof and i'll pull these cables back now to the roof and then the electrician can pull the new cables in tomorrow I also want to change these bus bars up here. Ah, that was very easy. All right. And the same over here. Let's see. Oh yeah. Work the same. Nice. Done. We will do the same here. I'm not sure if they're going to reuse the existing openings in the roof here or if they have their own little thingy whatever stuff to tighten this all up, make it watertight and weatherproof. I'm not sure what the regulations are for that. But um, someone told me this is not how you should do it. Even there's always a risk that water comes in. Even this is under the panel and it's sealed with silicon. It's not as per the code. So let's see what we will get tomorrow. <laughs> okay, let's um, pull these cables back. So I've got um, heaps of panels in stock now, as you can see. These are the Canadian solars here and all of the panels are cracked. And 
this one here has also the hotspot. See there? I keep this one here separate because I want to do some testing with this panel and see if we can... We want to have a look through the infrared camera and see if we can see this hotspot. That'll be interesting. Look at these cracks. Jeez. There's real sunlight coming through. You definitely cannot repair them anymore. And with such a hotspot, that's gone. That's gone forever. There we go. And all these ones. That's that easy. Hey, it took me it took me hours to get these cables in there, and now I'm just pulling, and they're gone. Oh, shit. <laughs> This concludes the removal of our solar. Gone. As if it was never here. Okay, the sun is setting in about 15 minutes. This gives me enough time for an ice cold spat now. Probably two after this day today in the sun. Jeez. I'll leave the earth cable up here. I'm not sure if they may want to reuse it or so. If not, it's just a quick snip over there and then it's gone. So tomorrow, the day after tomorrow and the day after tomorrow tomorrow, because we will cover all these roof spaces, all of them with solar panels then, all of them. I know it sounds crazy, but there's a reason behind it. Okay guys, I would say you have a good night's sleep and we see us again tomorrow morning. Um, I hope I can turn on the camera before the electrician comes in. I haven't heard from them when they are actually coming, so I guess at around 7, 7.30 they probably start early because it will get hot tomorrow. Okay guys, as always, thanks for watching and see you tomorrow when it gets really juicy here. Yes!